Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, y'all, today is the start of my weekly vlog. Also, y'all, I'm trying to wake up at 6 a.m. for a week. It is currently Monday, November the... I'm okay, November. What? It's currently Monday, April the 15th. Um, my alarm is about to go off, but y'all, I've been up since like 5.30. I don't know why I just woke up and now I'm like, I might as well just not go back to sleep. But my alarm is about to go off. So I guess I could. But y'all, I am about to do a realistic week in my life. Today is nails day, y'all. I've had these same nails since I came back from my trip. And I'm going back to Lush again. But we're going to try to see. Um, my alarm is taking forever to go off. I like, literally just wanted to go off. But yeah i'm in a great mood y'all um i don't know i don't know i don't know what to say i'm in a great mood i need to get up and eat i am to say where the sound at but yeah i hate this sound so much if i'm in school I'm not gonna lie, I'm not in the mood to cook. Um, my mom recently went grocery shopping for us, so we got like a whole bunch of stuff, and then like the refrigerator is like so good. I think I'm just about to fix some oatmeal. Y'all know I don't like oatmeal like that, but I feel like I should just eat it. Oh no, but we don't have any milk, and I can't eat oatmeal with water, y'all. I'm sorry, that make it. But we got the, she got the variety pack. Okay, y'all. So I think what I'm gonna do is this, we're just gonna play. Y'all, this is realistic. I'm not in the mood to cook no whole big old breakfast at six o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna just have um, one of these probiotic drinks and then a banana. No, I want to journal a little bit because y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I have not been in my journal for real. So, and I feel like I just need that. Just kind of like to like let stuff go or like just kind of like vent. You know, if that makes sense. Well, wow, that's what you journal, but yeah. I don't want to fix no big old breakfast. Plus, it's early in the morning. All that noise, y'all. I just, I'm already not a morning person. I can't stand the people in the morning making a whole bunch of noise. I just, I just can't. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna see y'all back in my room. You, you. I still can't feel my face. What am I smoking anyway? She said, don't let the high go to waste. Can you taste? Little taste. No, but Why did I go back to sleep? My freaking nail appointment. Oh I didn't even get up and eat nothing. My freaking nail appointment is at 12 30. Oh this is 11.50 right now. I need to get in the shower. I need to get myself together. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I don't know how to get my nails. Oh my god, my hair itch. Even though I freaking boiled it last night. Let me get up and get myself together. I'm going to see y'all when I get in the kitchen because I, I don't got time to play around no more. Like, I got to get to it. We have all this pizza. Should I just fix a thing of pizza? Yeah, so I just made it to Colony Square. Tell me why I went to the wrong freaking Lush nail. They're about to tell me I can't record in like two seconds. But I'm at the right one now. I'm going to see y'all when I get in there. Hopefully Kimberly is in here to do my nails. I know what set I'm going to get. So I'm going to just see y'all. It's like an ombre but it has like the 3D on there. Okay guys so I'm getting this here. Last time I got a cucumber one. So I've never gotten this one before so I'm happy. I'm 
a sign when straight forward eyes on the climbing I decide no man at the climbing Burning bitches in my third trimester Shift eyes, they tell me you lying Don't care, just lay them beside me Hey time, chasing a rewind Hey time, Hey y'all, so it is really later on in the day. It's literally currently 8. I got back at like 5-ish or whatever. My nails turned out really cute. I just had y'all on the charger, so I don't mind it. But my nails came out super, super cute. I did like an ombre effect with like the 3D design. Um, my toes are just French tip. I wanted the same design, but it was like, your toes so tiny. Like, your toes so tiny, so I couldn't get there. They didn't do the airbrush on my tiny toes. But it's okay. Me and Slay just been chilling, having some twin time. Y'all know if y'all watched the Wigger Twins vlog, we was like, um, when we get our couch, you're going to make that like, so we can have some time to like together. So we literally just been chitting, chatting, and reading our Bibles, and catching up, talking, watching YouTube for like hours, y'all, like literally hours. But she's about to start cooking. Um, I think we're having spaghetti tonight. I'm about to do some cleaning. I did laundry yesterday, so I have some laundry and stuff to put up. And then I'm going to take a shower and stuff. And then I'll probably help her cook. I don't know. I'm just really just chilling the rest of the, the rest of tonight. It's currently 8. I'm trying to be in the bed by 11. Because tomorrow I want to wake up and actually stick to my plan. Um, tomorrow, the stuff that I didn't do today, I'm going to just wake up and do it tomorrow. Because it's no way. I can't believe I went back to sleep. Like, why would I do that? Why would I do that? I just know for me, like... I have to get up and get out of my room because if I don't get up and get out of my room, I'm going to go back to sleep. I'm going to go back to sleep. And I'm not the type of person that can set a timer for like, oh, I'm going to just take a little 10 minute nap because when that, two, when that 10 minute timer go off, I'll be like, okay, well, it's okay. I can just take another 10 minute nap and then just keep rolling on till I'm never getting up. So I'm hoping it's focused for y'all or whatever, but y'all just about to clean up. I'll probably just speed this part up for y'all so y'all not really like, it's not really nothing. I literally just have some clothes to put up. Um, I washed my comforter, but honestly, y'all, I think this week I'ma just go buy a whole new comforter because I hate my comforter. Like, it's, I'm not gonna say it's dingy, y'all. I wash it, but it's white. Like, y'all know white stuff get like, it, it pick up stuff fast, so. I tried to wash it. It's cool and all, but I'm not using that anymore. I'm going to get a whole new set. I want to get a whole new, like, bedding set. Like, sheets, fitted sheet. I want to get a whole new, all of that. So, I'm going to do that sometime this week. Um, Y'all, guess what? <laughs> Today, I checked my credit for the first time ever. And I'm not thinking I have no credit. Like, that's all. That's one thing when it comes to, like, finances that's always, like, scared me, kind of. Or, like, been in the back of my head. Like, I wonder what my credit is. Like, dang, like, credit is important. Well, my personal credit. Like, my personal credit. Me and Slate Basis credit is A1. But my personal credit, I'm like, dang, I wonder what my personal credit is. I know people be like, they can get a, you can do a lot with credit. Or if your credit good, then you can, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can get by a little you can get by with a little bit more stuff than like if you have bad credit so i was sitting at the nail salon i'm just like because i never knew how people check their credit i'm like do they go through a bank do they go through their bank is it like a website then i remember like credit karma i be seeing all them commercials on there so i went on there and it was like uh check your credit score for free or whatever so asked me my name my social security number y'all guess what my freaking credit score is at 19 at 19 years old your girl has a 700 credit score i'm like oh my god literally like that's so crazy um well y'all i cannot believe this like i really i was like wow like where did i get credit from then i remember me and Slay both pay rent here but i'm at the top like i don't know how to say it because her name is also on the lease but my name they had to do like the i think because i did the application all I'm saying is the rent is go like uh, through me. Like me and Slay split the rent half and half, so we both pay rent. But it go through like my I think my social security number or whatever like that. I think that's what it is. As well as um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. When I was doing my second makeover, my second room makeover, I had went to TJ Maxx, and y'all, I ain't gullible, but they got me. And they, I applied for like this. <laughs> I reply for this 300 because I'm like, okay, I got a new apartment. This like room stuff. I love TJ Maxx. Like it's, it's I love it. They got me for um 
they made me like they had me sign up for this three hundred dollar like credit card and i see it on here and i haven't used it but obviously it's like activated or something so i'm like hmm i didn't know bed and said i might as well just use my credit card i have to pay it back of course i ain't gonna splur to use the whole 300 but i'm gonna just do that so i can pay it back so my credit score go up even more i'm just like oh my gosh y'all like, i cannot believe this so i'm just so happy about that like thank you god for that thank you Jesus for that because that was in the back of my mind like when it came to finances like i'm good on everything else i need to save more i need to get better on saving i really need to get better on saving like for real but it was my credit i'm like i've been seeing everybody talk about oh yeah i got this with my credit and my credit good so i was able to get this and that and this and that and this and that i'm like i want my credit to be good too and luckily it's good so yeah y'all my head is kind of hurting when I got back, I fixed the sandwich, so I ate. Don't worry about it. Um, um, so I just cooking right now, so I'm going to eat dinner. And then I need to take my butt to bed. I need to take a shower. But let me just focus on one thing at a time, which is getting this laundry put up. So I'm going to just see y'all when I'm doing that, I guess. My camera's really charged, so we're just going to just vibe. Thanks, sissy. Oh, give me the road for the top. I don't know, but my head just started hurting like real bad, like really, really bad. I'm finna shower. I'm gonna show y'all my skincare routine. I did change it up. At this point, y'all, I'm just doing stuff. Like, I'm just doing stuff. Until I find something that really works, I'm just doing stuff. Because my skin be acting up. I don't really care at this point. I'm irritated. My head hurts. I think I just need to eat again. I'm gonna eat again. I'll make sure I eat a lot tonight. Um, I need to drink some water, but my head is starting hurting really bad. But I'm finna shower. Um, it's just me. I like taking showers in the dark. Well, I'm not in the dark. I'm glad my bathroom is like right here, so it's like a little bit of light. But I be like in there vibing. Like, I'm in love with this album. I've been listening to this album back to back to back. My favorite songs on the We Still Don't Trust You album. If y'all want to like listen to it, block. Oh yeah, y'all need put me on to this song. That was really cute. We Still Don't Trust You. Out of my hands. Write this down. I need to be writing it down. Jealous. This Sunday. I love back. All to myself, nights like this, right for you, gracious and red leather. Chef's kiss, top 10. Y'all know I love Drake, but music is music. That's what I feel. And then people don't know y'all. Like when y'all be going back and forth about Cardi B and um, Nicki Minaj and JT and Carisha and shit, Drake and Metro and Future and Savage. And these people don't know. They don't know. They So I just, I don't even get into all that Twitter drama that y'all be. I listen to my music and I go by my day. So, um, I'm feeling a vibe in the shower, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I ain't going to speed up no shower just because I'm feeling like I'm feeling really just vibe in the shower because my head hurts and I need it. Like, I need it. So I'm going to see you guys after my shower. Also, so I finished the food. She made like some rotisserie chicken. <laughs> yeah, do this look like rotisserie chicken to you? Like, please, a rotisserie don't chicken dish. Sorry that there's lines on it. Like I don't know chicken, like, what that is that. about, literally. Hopefully, it's just for me and y'all can't see it. But if y'all can't, just act like y'all don't see it. Like, just be like, oh, y'all, we don't see that. Okay, let's taste. It's literally just spaghetti. Right? <laughs> like She's trying to downgrade me, y'all. She said it's literally just spaghetti. You okay, put well, that in the oven to let the cheese melt. Well, <laughs> you can do it in the microwave. Okay. It is good though. No shade. It's really good. It's really good. It just tastes like spaghetti, y'all, but. Did y'all add sugar to y'all spaghetti? And did y'all add sugar to y'all grits? 
Sugar do not belong in grits and it do not belong in spaghetti. Sugar don't belong in really? nothing that's not sweet. Literally. Like, literally. No ranch. Nah, Y'all are losing us, for real. This oh, now what sugar do go on is smart popcorn. Mm -hmm. Sugar is really good on smart popcorn. The white cheddar kind. I was trying to tell him some story times, y'all need. Or what story times you gonna tell him already? Um, I told him about <laughs> one story time. <laughs> and then I told him about the, the the club situation. What club situation? Oh, I think about that girl. Mm. But I didn't tell it all though. Mm. I just told them how um I was saving you. She was saving me. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you wasn't saving me. I need to be saved, but um, mm -hmm. she was doing what a sister was supposed to. Oh, fried fish? That would have been good with this. Fried fish? Fried fish and spaghetti? Mm -hmm. That's big. Well, you do have a big back, so. Mm -hmm. Fried fish and spaghetti, that just seems so heavy. Like them together, it probably was heavy. Heaven, heaven. <laughs> you guys know heaven, heaven, heaven. Hey. You said no shade, but I need to start eating like them so I can get small. Oh, Baby, please. this is genetics. <laughs> this is genetics. I'm going to eat this to go chill. Y'all, what the f I just woke up in my freaking patch and alarm clock. It's playing, playing freaking music. Look at like it is six o'clock. It is currently April the seventeenth, I think, sixteenth, on a Tuesday. Sorry, I have my routine again, but I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm feeling good. Um, still sticking to my list. So, I have to, before I get on my phone for I'm going to pray, of course, I have to do that. I think I've been doing a good job of that. But I've been doing a good job of that. Um, last night, I took two aspirin. Well, I took one, and I'm just like, it's not strong enough. So, I took the other one, and I'm like, yeah, okay, this one's fine. By the way, y'all, if y'all hear that noise, that's my fan. I'm trying to talk a little bit loud because I can't go to sleep without it. So, sorry. Um, I have to get up. Like I said, today I'm going to try to do a better job of not coming back to my bed. I'm going to try to do a better job of not coming back to my bed um, until I know I'm like fully up, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So I, okay, so I have to pray. I have 10 minutes of phone time and then I need to get up and cook breakfast. I'm just leaving it at that. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go and look too far ahead because then I'm gonna get like over oh, but I have this idea I want to do like y'all know how I be fixing my sandwiches and they kind of be like a grilled cheese kind of um I call it a sandwich but I, I really feel like it's like a turkey sandwich more than it's like a grilled cheese but y'all know how I be cooking my sandwiches I think I want to do that but with uh, with eggs and bacon like a bacon and egg sandwich but make it really cheesy so that I kind of like do the little pull apart thing yeah, I think that's what I might do. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling. Let me pray. Let me get my phone time. See ya. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they were buy. Wow. She love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's because they live at the high. Hey. S13 stepping on shit to this plot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it. I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Her, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nines. Breaking and bending the spines. I hear the privileged rapper that they had a hit since the signs. Niggas be full of excuses, that lady taking their time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes, you see?
Mm. Hey y'all, so me, Celine, and Deontay are about to go to Walmart. I just took a shower and stuff, so now I'm about to head out. I think we're going to get a Walmart, but I just need to get a few things. I just have this on for today. Nothing too special. They're waiting for me in the car, so let me go. Okay, y'all, so we're here, and we're just getting a few kitchen stuff. We're just getting, like, little stuff that we might need for the house right now. I want us to redo our whole pantry. Like, I want us to have, like, a cute pantry because my mama keep buying snacks, and we don't have nowhere to put them. Yeah, and they can go in that corner. So I'm going to do the three one. Yeah. I'm going to do that one, and then that's cute. He just regular most too. So we're gonna do these two because it has like the compartments in there. So you're not happy? No. This is TV now. But our TV is a, a 75, 75 inch. $65? Well, we need it. I'm yeah, saying the I mean, price that we don't need it. <laughs> how else do you can't get sit on the floor forever. <laughs> it can't, y'all. It can't. I can't wait till we get like the TV and everything together. We're gonna get a PS5. We're gonna get an Oculus. We're gonna get, we're gonna have all the games. Like our house is gonna be the fun house, period. You know that, too, that tweet where it be like, um, paper towels gonna stand in the tents when I'm in the kitchen? That'd be me because I cannot, when I do dishes, y'all, I cannot do dishes and dry them off with like a hand towel. It never dries, like it never gets them dry and it's so annoying. Got forks. Yeah. Oh, maybe that was slow. Did they close it down? 177. I'm going to see how when we get in the car. That was our little Walmart run. I'm going to see you guys when I get home when I'm eating. Yeah, so we just got home. Gonna open up our stuff. So I just opened up our containers. And they have like the little compartments in there. Which is really cute. It's really hot outside, y'all. I kind of want to go to the pool. Know what to put inside. Get a whole bunch more of these because I want to redo the whole pantry. So it's like here. I'm gonna fix me some leftover spaghetti and then I'm gonna use our blender. I need blender to make me a smoothie, y'all. We got a magic bullet. Y'all know we have a blender our dad gave us as like our housewarming gift, but this one's so cute. See, it's so tiny. It comes with the. This is the one I'll be needing. Or it comes with the one with the little handle on there. That's so small and cute. What kind of TV thing is it? Oh, it comes with a lot of them. These are so adorable, y'all. Today is just like a chill day. Tomorrow, me and Slayer are going to some lake with my dad. I don't know what lake. He just said we're going to a lake tomorrow. Which I'm happy about because it's really hot outside. And then after that, I can finally take my hair out. I'm going to just do the rest of this. I guess this one big chunk would be good. The bin. Period. I think so I just heated up my spaghetti. I'm about to watch Messy Monday and just chill a little bit. Um, it's two right now. I might go down and sit by the pool later. It really just depends on how I'm feeling. This is 
such a good idea on his part. Uh, every Monday, you guarantee to have a video. Because there's always something going on. <laughs> it's no way that man got on stage with a death drop. Good morning, guys. No, I did fail today. I did fail today. I did not wake up at 6 a.m. today because my head was hurting so bad. And as soon as I heard that noise, that alarm noise, I'm like, no, I can't do it. I just can't do it. But I am still up pretty early. Today is Wednesday, April the 17th. It is currently 9.08. Me and Slay are about to go to my dad's house because um, the lady from Sephora is supposed to be coming over there to give us like a makeup class or whatever. So I have my bag. Um, my dad lives like 30 minutes away. So I plan to leave here at like 9.15. I just got out the shower and finished getting ready. I'm about to go fix myself something to eat right quick um, so I'm not like starving. I'm going to fix some oatmeal. I don't know if it's going to be good, but I'm just going to eat it. Just hurry up and eat it. I don't even know how to make oatmeal, y'all. Dirty. going to add some sugar in the tummy. I'm going to have brought this granola. A little while ago. my camera battery on 16 percent i'm gonna see you guys when i get to my dad's house yeah so my camera is literally on 16 percent so i'm gonna try to really get as much of it as i can do okay y'all so slay's gonna be the model first and then i'm gonna try Now, I always like to brush the brows in an angle or direction where I want the brows to look. So when you get in the front, take your pencil and kind of slant it and do light strokes going upward. And the reason why you're doing that because it's going to make your brows look more natural. Don't never rub down. Always go upward. Okay. Right here, mm -hmm. lightly, and then you got lightly. some more concealer under my eyes but honestly y'all do i really need it no we're not gonna do no more concealer and i need to do the powder here i need to do the powder under my eyes look up you should have a little bit more concealer under here though but okay y'all so here is my finished result and i think i did pretty good um, I just got to work on my eyebrows and just like getting the hang of it. Um, I got to not put primer under my eyes to be hydrated and don't be like flaky. Yeah, of course my alarm going off and the little hatch alarm playing the little music will be in slow motion. Like I don't even know how I did that y'all. It's 6.02. Um... 
but since today I'm going on a boat ride with my dad I think I'm not gonna do too too much um, because then I'm gonna be tired and I don't want to be tired because I'm gonna have fun um so I think I'm a uh, of course I gotta pray I have to get my phone time my 10 minute phone time or whatever and then I'm gonna get up and fix something to eat um and I actually might go back to sleep after I do my whole morning thing at least want to do my whole morning thing before I go back to sleep but I don't want to be tired for the boat ride because I actually want to you know be awake and stuff for that so but I also want to be up at 6 a.m. come doing this video um but yeah I'm gonna pray have my little phone time I'm gonna see you guys in the kitchen or when I figure out like what I'm gonna eat place that we're going to like the lake that we're going to i me and slay went on a field trip here for our school in like fifth grade it was so much fun a little morning thing for me sometimes i'll be turning it off because i'll be like i do not want to hear this and it's crazy because i'm supposed to wake up at 6 a.m and y'all know i don't play by my sleep but ever since i done started this whole little challenge thing i've been waking up at 5 50 every single day so y'all, I be up before um, six o'clock. That's how I'm able to get the camera ready um, when my alarm go off. I don't know. I just been naturally waking up at five fifty, which is kind of weird and kind of hate it because it's like Ugh, I need to get all the sleep I can get. But it kind of helps because then I can get the camera for y'all. But the sit for today is into the night. I also have some sunscreen that I'm gonna put on when I get there. I also have my digital camera. Gonna take that. Um, even though I hate that thing, it's okay. I guess I'll be okay. I'm gonna put this colorful necklace on. Transfer over to my transfer smaller over camera, to my smaller and I'm gonna see you guys when I get to my dad's house. Can you see hey, I don't the vlog? It's only um Thursday. Huh? They're trying to in Walmart right now, trying to get a hat for me. Soleil has a hat. I don't know where she got a hat from, but it is currently 10:22, and I'm getting a hat. That's not going to cover enough. nothing. <laughs> you think that's going to cover enough? But y'all, my hair is braided, so it's like, what do we need to cover? Your whole hair is like that. Do this not look right? It's literally just a hat, y'all. And it got the long thing. I think I'm good. Okay. I got to get this. But here's the boat. I ain't seen y'all since y'all was uh <laughs> 30 seconds old. Y'all look at the boat. So like I was here, Yeah. I'll call that boat. Yeah, we've been there too. Yeah, so we're at Chick-fil-A right now getting some food before we head off. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's such a good pretty day outside. Like it's so clear. We got even got the cap. Where's my? I got a straw. Now he love. like no way. Thank you guys. Thank you. But how's it feel to be big like big like that? But they know me as big like that's my other club. Oh my, the sun go down. Yeah. Big like that all right. So we finally made it and I'm just so happy because this just looks so nice like it looks Hurry up. One, two, three, four. Resort type of thing. Um, 
It kind of looked like kind of like a country club. What? But we're gonna go in here. Brought my freaking bodysuit. But I'm gonna put that on. I get oh that. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Got shorts on. Yep. You gotta put your tops on. I believe they got this up with this Wisconsin. I don't know yet the Wisconsin. We're headed back to the boat. My phone's dead, but I'm gonna charge when I get in there. I can't wait to feel this breeze on the boat because it's been really hot. It is really hot. I feel like I'm at a getaway and it's like kind of what I needed, y'all. Like my mind, like y'all don't even know. But I feel like it's what I needed and it's just so cute out here. Boat is so pretty. I'm gonna sit in the back so I can charge my phone. But it'd be kind of hard because there's music in there. But it's okay. Y'all, now we're on some island. I'm scared. I look like somebody had a fire. Yeah. Y'all can at least do that. Okay. And get a picture? And get a picture, right. I got it. Okay. Picture. All right, now y'all comfortable. Thank you. Picture. <laughs> All right. Video. Let me do a video, too. Look at here. Not the two hugging. <laughs> Guys, so I think we're about to get off the boat. But we had such a good time. I got some cute pictures. Make sure you guys go to my Instagram to see the pictures. I'm going to see you guys later on. Good morning, guys. I know I look a rarely hot mess. And y'all probably like, what is going on with you? What happened to you? Where's your lashes? Where have you been? Y'all, okay. Yesterday, I couldn't film. I was with my dad. At the time y'all see me, we was from the boat, right? Tell me why. I took my hair out in the Uber on the way home. That night, I went bowling with Zach and Max. And here's like a little clip. Much later in the day, I was bowling. I freaking left the house and then put the freaking SD card in the camera, so it's useless. I really could have left it, but now it's just here. Look at this. Green team right here. Two day contract. What's in the contract? Yeah, I'm trying to find out. She's got to be a bad bitch since she failed the test. The reason I didn't record a lot is because I freaking brought my camera, but I left my SD card in the small camera from the boat. I hated my lashes, so last night I picked them off and I texted my other lash tech and was like, Hey girl, can you please do my lashes? I don't like my lashes. Please do them. And the reason I don't like my lashes is because the lashes that I had, they sat so low. Like the curve was so low that like my eyes were barely open. Like I would be opening my eyes. Y'all, I'm sorry. My hair looks a really hot mess. I would be opening my eyes, right? But it would feel like they were just so low. Like, I feel like I could never open my eyes all the way. Like, I'm constantly like... And then that hurt because it was so, like, curved. I don't know. But today, I'm going to just get something really natural. Y'all know I like wispy sets. A wispy natural, but not thin. I want it to be have a little bit of volume to it. But I just want it really thin. I want them really short. I don't know nothing about lashes, but I'm going to just tell her to hook me up. Please, y'all, because I literally pulled my lashes out. Hair look a mess. Didn't put a bonnet on last night. Just went to sleep. Um, but, yeah. This is really just turned into like a weekly vlog, y'all. I'm trying to do the whole 6 a.m. thing, but yeah, been, it's been a busy week. So, y'all, just, just please, just bear with me. But I'm going to hop in the shower right quick and get myself together. Yeah, I just put my hair up in like this, like whatever style because when I be laying down, I do not like my hair to be right here because then it like start hurting after a while. So I just put it up real high or whatever. I just have on my cardigan and this two piece set. Y'all, my Uber's on the way. Counting down the days where I don't have to say that. Okay, y'all. So okay. this is what it looks like. Yeah, I really sat there and picked all of them off. I just like I can't do it. Okay, did you record it too? Oh, these are so pretty. Yes, girl. Oh my gosh. 
the big one, not the little one. Hey, oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm back at home. It is like 4 or 5 ish now. So I probably post this video on Monday for you guys just so I can get like a full week out from Sunday to Sunday. Right now, I am about to go up to Marshall's, TJ Maxx, all those places and try to see if I can find me a new comforter and sheet set. Uh, the driver's outside, so I'm about to head out there now. I just put my hair in this bun because it was looking like it was looking a little bit too messy, y'all. Like it was looking a little bit too messy. You guys, when I get there. Okay, y'all, so I'm in here right now. The line in here, the line in here is so long. So I don't even know if I want to be in here. Honestly, I'll probably just go over to, what is that, TJ Maxx and try to see if they have anything there because the line is so long. I only came in here for one thing, really, and that's the comforter, the comforter set or whatever. Not that way. I just want a white one, but y'all, I don't want one that's too, I'll go around the other side. I don't want one that's too, like, thick, because it get really hot in my room, y'all, and I don't know why. I have to, I'm gonna have to go to the maintenance people and try to see why that is. We're gonna get some more washcloths. Might as well get those while I'm here. Can get two packs of those. And then, I need some more towels. Are the towels that I have from here, I think they are. But I don't want to get the wrong ones. Was it these? I don't know which ones it was. I don't know. I'm going to come back. I don't know which one it was. I don't know which ones it was. But I'm going to go see about the comforter set. Like I said, I don't want anything too big because um, I just want something plain and white. The problem with like... TJ Maxx and stuff like this, they never have just like plain white ones. Like just flat out plain white ones. I mean, they have these. Like this one's not too ugly. This one's not too ugly. And then this one is kind of just plain. I mean, it's soft. This feels very, very lightweight. should I just get that one my camera wasn't like this I'm, I don't know I'm thinking should I just get that one or should I not get that one and this one oh, $119 $119 and yeah, how much is this one get this one hopefully I don't think I need anything else out of here I have the most random urge to do my makeup so I'm about to sit on my floor and do my makeup and listen to some music. And why is it blue? Why is it orange, y'all? Hold on. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> it is currently Sunday, which is the last day of this video. Today, I'm just gonna do go with the flow today. Woke up kind of late. I slept in. Don't ask me about the 6 a.m. part, y'all. We don't. I tried, so period. My makeup, finna clean, clean, clean. I have to put my new comforter, my new sheets, all of that in the wash. I'm gonna do that before I start on my makeup so I can redo my bed today. I wanna get some cleaning done. Today is basically just gonna be like a Sunday reset, basically, before I go out and do stuff. But I want to do my makeup first, so I love my lashes and my hair is out so i'm just i'm not even gonna do my hair i'm just gonna do makeup okay and listen to some music so i'm gonna see you guys in like two seconds when i say everything up because i have to piece of it first thing i'm gonna wash is my comforter set because that's gonna take the longest it comes with the pillowcases which should i turn these on the outside on the wrong side okay i'm gonna put these right here for when i'm doing my um what you call it i'm gonna also take the sheets off my bed right now
Y'all, I just made the best smoothie I probably have ever made. It don't even look that good, y'all, but it's so good. Mm. I to watch some YouTube while I wait for my clothes to dry or whatever. I went ahead and put my towels and my washcloths in there and the new washcloths. So that's, um like, you know, going and stuff. I'm just heating up my Chipotle that I got the other day. I don't even think I showed y'all, but after I went to Marshall's, I went to Chipotle and got me something to eat because it's right up there. Today is like a chill Sunday reset, so period. <laughs> okay, y'all, so the package that I got, I think was just some snail mucin I had bought because y'all know I ran out. I even ran out of the travel size one. Okay, so yeah, got some snow music, and we're just gonna come in handy because I'm about to wash my face like right now. I have been trying some new stuff, but honestly, I don't even know if it's working for real, and I don't even I, I don't even know if it's working for real. So I'm just about to go to I'm about to go back to what I know, which this 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 and this because honestly i see the more i try to like do new stuff the more it just don't work i just need to eat better and drink more water brand new bottle i'm gonna put on i put on my finsta which you guys don't follow my finsta follow my finsta is yannica archive okay my finsta name is yannica archive i just kept it really simple and while i'm doing my makeup i'm gonna ask i asked my finsta some girl talk questions so yeah this was the empty bottle of snail mucin that i had well it's still a little bit in there so i'm gonna keep it in my makeup bag i still don't know what i'm doing i'm just swinging it testing it trying to see like what works good what work, what doesn't work good i still don't have a contour my favorite part which is the contour i still don't have a contour it's okay all those questions rolling in i'm gonna um start i have to get some more makeup y'all i need to do another freaking what you're calling it wrong. Okay, so she said, don't put it under my eyes. Y'all know in this vlog, we also had the makeup class. She said, don't put the primer under my eyes because then it's going to make the concealer look weird. And she said, do not put the primer on my eyebrows. So we're going to put it everywhere but those places and kind of just pat it in. And y'all, I just put some snail me on, so that should like help too. So of course, she started with the eyebrows first. So I'm going in with my Anastasia pencil brow pencil and this is in the shade dark brown and she said start in the middle go out and then go forward like it does that make sense y'all this lens really don't zoom in that much on like footage camera but it's zooming real good on pictures I just hate that they don't have a flash like this camera is a really good camera and the lens is a really good lens for video but it don't have no flash. The camera itself don't have a flash. So Okay, first one up. Somebody said, it's okay to not have a lot of friends. Y'all, honestly, I feel like that's how it's supposed to be. Well, I mean, I feel like as you get older, your friend group kind of gets smaller. Y'all know y'all did not have as many friends when y'all was like in middle school or elementary school as y'all did like high school or like people who were out of high school. I really feel like... Um, friends come and go so it's fine to not have a lot of friends if you have a few friends that are like okay these my girls like these my guys like that's better than having a whole bunch of friends you don't know what their intentions are for real or you just get in friends so you could say you have a big friend group no and another thing it's good to have acquaintances like my tip i feel like it's good to have a lot of well not a lot of but a good amount of of acquaintances and then a select group of friends you know what i'm saying like acquaintances you see them at a party y'all might hang out once a month every now and then hit them up kind of you know they support you they support blah 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 and then have a select group of like these my ride or dies like these my girls we going everywhere together i can trust them in any situation i know it's not going to be no bad thing i can trust them around my man i can trust them in my like you know what i'm saying like that type of thing i literally have three two girlfriends literally that's it nia and zaria 
that's really it and then i have a few homeboys deontay um zach max all of them those are like you know you know my select few but and i also have a lot of acquaintances like i know a lot of people and a lot of people know me but that doesn't mean they're like my friends if that makes sense but i still love them you know do my eyebrows look did i just snap on my eye wait a minute wait a minute y'all did I really just snap on my eyebrows like this? No way, I just snapped on my eyebrows like this, y'all. My blending brush, we're gonna take the end of the concealer brush and kind of wipe it off, clean them up. Tips for girls who wanna start content creation. Y'all know me, um, oh, my eyelashes in the way, Kondra. Y'all know me, I just say, just start. Like, you really just have to start somewhere. And I know a lot of people gonna be like, oh, that's like so cliche, like, of course you would say that. But I mean, how else you gonna do it? If you don't start, how, how else are you gonna do it? I don't, I don't get when people have an attitude when people be like, um, tips for getting into content creation. Y'all do realize I had to start, right? And a lot of people like coming from me, I know a lot of people probably don't want to hear that because well, as far as like my YouTube goes, only because I want to say I had a head start because I still had to post, I still had to come up with ideas, I still had to be consistent and able to gain and maintain my youtube fan base but i definitely feel like i did have a little bit of a head start on youtube because i already had a following on tiktok and instagram so and that goes for a lot of things content creation is not just youtube content creation is instagram it is tiktok it's all of that but just know that when you build up one platform those people are automatically going to go to the other platform plus you're going to get more people from that new platform so I would just say just start whether it's don't even have to be YouTube right away you know what I'm saying if you just want to do mini vlogs on your YouTube I mean on your Instagram or you know what I'm saying like just little stuff many many TikTok vlogs that's really popular right now is people doing like you know vlogging on their TikTok like little 10 minute you can upload I think I think now on TikTok you can do up to 10 minute videos so yeah a lot of people are you know Oh dang, I didn't put a good moisturizer on. I probably look like a clown right now, y'all, because my hair is not done. But who cares, honestly? Like, who freaking gives a fuck? Next question is, dang, what's next? Okay, how do I feel about my, how do I feel about my channel now and from the beginning when I started? I feel great about my channel, y'all. Like, I love my channel. I love my YouTube. Like, I feel like. Wait. Is this my concern? Frank, y'all, I'm sitting here using my freaking, it's going wrong already, y'all, but I feel really good about my channel. I feel really good about my YouTube channel. I feel like I'm so happy that I started it. Not only I'm happy that I started, I'm happy I, like, maintained it. You know what I'm saying? Like, kept going when I was still dancing and stuff because it, I could have easily just stuck to dancing and not really seen the vision. Because when I first started YouTube, y'all, my first ever YouTube video was a freaking hair tutorial like a wig tutorial somebody sent me like somebody sent me like a wig or do i look orange i'm sorry if i look orange somebody sent me like a wig or something i think it was like effing elfin hair or something like that and i had to do like a review on there so i mean an install video so that's what i did and i'm definitely happy i did that because after that i just kept going i just kept doing it like that's just what it was like I fell in love with it after that and I'm glad I did because we're here now and now I feel about my channel I love my channel um I definitely feel like this summer I want to do more a lot more with it I want to take it to the next level which I'll admit I don't even know what that next level is but I don't even know what that next level is right now, but I definitely have a vision of like, you know, just expanding myself, expanding my brand. I'm time for concealer. This brush. And make some contour I want to come up with more creative ideas 
as far as things go i want to expand maybe even start i definitely want to start my business so i feel great about my channel now and i feel thankful for my channel then if that makes sense like i'm thankful i kept going then um, best clothing stores i get all my clothes well most of my clothes from either fashion nova pretty little thing is like number one um honestly if i see something that's cute i'm gonna buy it but most of my clothes come from either fashion nova or pretty little thing they fit me the best like, what age should you start going on dates and how soon into the talking stage um i feel like dates don't really have a time to it like you can meet somebody and they'd be like, oh, I want to take you out on a... Like, you can meet somebody while you're out and then they could literally say, like, oh, tomorrow. Like, what are you doing tomorrow? I want to take you out on a date. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think a, the date has... I don't think a date has a date to it, if that makes sense. If somebody approach you and they talking about they want to talk to you and they want to, you know, get to know you and stuff like that, why wouldn't you be going on a date? Like, don't... I'm not even saying, like, oh, you got to take me on a date for me to get to know you and blah, blah, blah. But it's kind of like, how else would you get to know a person? Like, you can't really know a person just off FaceTime and text. You know what I'm saying? So, a little date going out for lunch or something like that. Don't have to be nothing fancy. That's a good date for, like, the start of a start of a talking stage. And what age? Um, Honestly, that's kind of like a preference thing. I would say 15, 16, 16 is, like, a good time to start going on dates. Like, actual dates my under eye powder oh that was kind of a lot recommended spots for self-care days i would say really just anything that makes you happy the mall um shit i don't know the mall going to get a facial get your nails done getting your hair done some people like getting their lashes done it's like self-care days I'm not going to lie, y'all. If I'm doing like a maintenance day, then it would be the lashes and the hair and the nails. But if I'm doing like a self-care day, it's never going to be lashes because I hate getting my lashes done. Well, the last second I go to, I love her. She's amazing. But I wouldn't consider that like self-care as far as like something like I just want to do. You know what I'm saying? I would go get a facial. I would go get a massage. I would go shopping. I would go eat you know what i'm saying like hang out with friends like that's my type of that's what i feel like is like a self-care day does it look bad y'all i don't know if this boy likes me honestly y'all again this probably gonna sound really cliche but trust me if somebody wants you if a boy likes you you will know i literally seen this thing the other day it was like um like guys are so simple if he likes you you'll know if he doesn't you'll be confused all the time so if you're confused currently put yourself together and leave like and that's so true like if you're constantly confused oh does he like me and am i doing something wrong or how can i what can i do or am i not putting enough effort is he just not interested is it somebody else that he's talking to then i'm telling you y'all i'm not gonna say he doesn't like you but you're definitely not a priority to him and you're definitely probably not like really in his mind like people can like people like you can have a crush on somebody and still like not really want them you know what i'm saying not really like want them for real for real. just kind of like oh they're cute like i can entertain them kind of but i don't want them that's how he's looking at you sorry to break it to you but that's exactly how he sees you you're just not a priority as like bad as it sounds that's it for the makeup, y'all. Let me see. Actually, let me see. I really need to see how I look. Uh, I posted pictures and my makeup ate down like... I don't even know if y'all can see, but my makeup ate down on these pictures. This is so cute, y'all. I feel like I did pretty good like of course I have some stuff to work on but I feel like I did pretty good overall I actually wanted to answer some more girl talk questions because they asked some more while I was in there um I took my comforter out of the dryer and I put my towels and stuff in there so that should almost be done that way I can you know take a shower and clean my bathroom we didn't end up going to the streetwear thing um I don't know why so I just 
this is sleep right now so i don't know but um i might be going to the movies later okay so it says how do i know when to let a boy go honestly i feel like your intuition first of all you'll know like first of all you will know before you even know you before you even know you'll know and really pay attention to how things are making you feel also you have to know what you want to deal with and what you're not going to deal with like you have to have a set ground of rules even if you don't let him know you just know for yourself like you do this i'm not dealing with you anymore you say this to me i'm not dealing with you anymore you move this way towards me or you make me feel this way more than once or you keep doing something more than once i'm not dealing with you so honestly you'll know when it's time to walk away and you'll know like when you're just done with something or when you want better or when you're like i don't want to deal with this anymore i don't want to be treated like this or hey like i just i simply just don't want it anymore you'll know trust me you will know what's your intake on exes always keeping in contact with you no matter what y'all i'm telling y'all these guys will go back to whoever is available so if you and your ex had a good bond like don't get me wrong i have like at least i have one ex where it's like now i just look at him as like a regular guy like we not buddy buddy we not super cool but you know he's still a good person like i still you know what i'm saying every now and then it's a hey in there because i don't have no feelings for him like we it's completely like detached on both ends so but as far as like coming back trying to like mess with you and then they leave and then they coming back trying to mess with you and you're like oh my god my ex came back like oh my god he contacted me y'all they're gonna do that regardless they're gonna do that they're, they always come back it's just on you to understand is this the same thing gonna happen again do i want to deal with this again has it changed has it not changed you just have to really like determine what you want to deal with and what you don't want to deal with this routine y'all please give me a while to like redo my skincare routine because i've been in and out of figuring out what work figuring out what don't work honestly y'all i don't even know at this point i don't even know what my own skincare routine is at this point how long have i been doing youtube me and Soleil have been doing youtube since we were like 14 15 and then I started my channel in about, I started it taking it really seriously about 2021, 2021, 2022 is when I really started taking it seriously. So yeah, I want to change the way I carry myself. How do I be confident and act like that girl? This is something that takes time y'all. Like I'm still working on that. I'm still working on like, okay, what way do I want to carry myself? Of course, it's always as a female, you want to be clean you want to be classy you want to be hold yourself at a standard but as far as like what type of vibe do i want to give off because it's a million of them like you could be anybody that you want to and still give off the classy vibe but that's something that just takes time and you just have to it's trials and tribulations like nobody wakes up and be like i'm that girl no it's knowing what you want knowing what you don't want dealing with stuff that you didn't want to deal with now you just your standard is so high and it's like no i'm not dealing with that just having like just having like just having some type of self-worth will help you with being that girl like just knowing your worth i feel that way don't get me wrong everybody has their own definition of what that girl is i feel like i'm that girl i don't know i handle my business i say to myself i'm classy i keep myself to myself um it's just about how you carry yourself and the confidence thing that definitely takes time y'all like i'm still not 100% like confident in every single move that I make but it's just coming with knowing like this is my life at the end of the day I have to make decisions that's for me and that's just that I guess I okay. advice for feeling out of place for my age I'm 18 and never experienced dating first kiss any of that y'all I really feel like you feel that way because of either the people that you're hanging out with have started already doing that stuff and you kind of feel left out or either social media and what I have to say about that is this is your life your life doesn't have a time on it like i just seen this quote the other day I, i'm gonna find it if i can find it, i'm gonna put it on the screen but it's just like why do people feel like if it's your life why do you feel like you're in a race for your life never feel like you have to rush anything never feel like you're at a place or behind in life how are you how are you behind in your own life 
<laughs> but honestly i just say when the time is right for you you're gonna know when the time is right for you that's the time that's right for you you don't have to compare it to like oh they're dating they're kissing they doing all that other stuff so maybe i need to be doing it no don't be peer pressure and move at your pace because that's all that matters at the end of the day pros and cons to having my own place pros i have my own space um i kind of i'm learning to be independent i'm learning to like stuff that i have to do like i have to do laundry i have to cook or i won't eat i have to make sure my place is clean like i have to replace stuff when it get broken or something like that like my mom is not here my grandma not here because i know bb did everything for us but i have to learn that stuff on my own now i feel like the cons the cons is just like you know just missing that family time kind of just now I have to go out my way to like, okay, mom, I want to spend time with you or like plan stuff with my dad or plan stuff with BB or plan stuff with my brothers. Like, I feel like that's the only con is not having that immediate, like, I walk out my room and there go BB, there go Soleil, there go my mama, like, there go Kate and all of them. What do you recommend to help with the fear of doing things alone? Y'all know if y'all watch my YouTube, of course, I have started going places alone, eating out alone. Y'all know. Well, I ain't gonna lie, the movies. That's one thing I don't have a problem going to the movies alone. I just don't. Half the time it don't be nobody in there. So it's not like I don't have no problem going to the movies alone. My problem comes in doing like outside activities alone. Like going out to eat where there's a lot of people or doing something fun. But you just have to go out and do it y'all. My advice is just to do it. It don't matter if you feel weird in the moment. It don't matter if you feel shy, like I shouldn't be here or what am I doing. Because at the end of it, you're going to be like, I did it. Like when I went to the Balloon Museum in my Valentine's Day vlog, I'm like, should I go? Should I not go? I'm alone. Nobody's here with me. Like, should I go? And y'all, I went and I made friends and I had a great time. And I'm so thankful that I went. So honestly, you just have to say F it and just go. Girlfriends besides Zaria. Y'all, my only other girlfriend is Nia. I said that before and I think I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends. Like I said, I have a lot of acquaintances. Like I have a lot of people where we cool, we can kick it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we have a good time while we together. But as far as like friend friends, just Zaria and Nia. And I don't have a problem with that at all. Like, I don't have a problem with that at all. I have a twin sister, so what else do I need? How's your relationship with God going? It is going great. And it's going even better now that me and Soleil are like, you know, navigating it together. We be watching our sermons together, taking notes, reading our Bible together. And I just feel like happy like when we do stuff like that together because I feel like it's so much stronger. You know what I'm saying? Like when we really like on the same page, like both talking to God, both praying, both stuff like that. So y'all know me. I've been navigating my relationship with him. But when me and Soleil come together, I love that. Where is the pink tripod stand from? I'm using it right now. It's from Amazon. I will leave the link down in the description box below. How is life off camera mentally? Y'all, mentally, I'm doing good. You know, I'm still just a girl figuring out life. A young girl. I'm only 19, which is crazy to think. I think that's all the questions for real. I have to take my makeup off. If I don't see you guys later on, um, because half this stuff is just stuff y'all have already seen. Me cleaning my bathtub like an old lady. Scrubbing like an old lady. Take my makeup off. That stuff y'all have already seen. Um, I have to get started editing on this video. I hope you guys like this weekly vlog. I tried to do the waking up at 6 a.m. But if y'all know me, just know that I don't play about my sleep, y'all. That's one thing that I do not play with, y'all. I don't play about my sleep. I love my sleep. I hate being woken up. I hate being, I hate alarms. I hate, I just hate it. So I tried my best. But I don't want you guys to like watch the video and be like, Oh, she needs to wake up at 6 a.m. She don't wake up at 6 a.m. Okay, the video. No, it's the weekly vlog, y'all. I just tried it out. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys enjoyed this video, I will have more videos for you guys. Make sure you guys comment down below. I love reading you guys' comments where y'all like notice stuff, like little stuff in the video. I'm like, oh, they're really paying attention, period. Um, let me know any ideas y'all have for summer vlogs. I know I do a lot of vlogs, but if y'all have challenges, pranks, activities y'all want to see me do, collabs y'all want to see me do, like, comment all of that in the description box below because like i said i want to turn my youtube up this summer with the help of y'all of course and thank you guys so much for 135 000 subscribers we are on the way to 150 i'm so excited that's crazy like i'm verified on youtube 130 000 subscribers my life can't be real i love y'all so much like
But make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment down below. I'll see you guys follow all my social medias, my Finsta, my Instagram, TikTok. All that is in the description box below. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.